Hello everyone. Uh, so I'm back with the uh, new experiment that is SR flip flop. So we'll be starting with uh, file. We we'll go to new project and uh, new project and we'll name it like you can name it as flip flop or something else, whatever you want. And after that, we'll press OK for analog or mixed E by D. Radical block okay. and okay, we have this open the files. So I will open schematic one, page one, and first of all, immediately I will remove this, and this as well. And then, uh, because this is an SR flip flop, so we need if we are making like SR flip flop can be designed using clock or without clock. So, uh, uh, let us design it using clock only. So, uh, here I will have to put one input and one output as well because we know SR flip flop has two outputs Q and Q bar, and it has three outputs one clock, then S and R. So, for input, I will have to place uh, I clicked it in the middle, uh, edge is highlighted. So I will place a uh, clock here okay, at the input side, I can put it anywhere I want and then I will place, uh, I will have to change it because, because uh, I need to change the name because it's output so I will have to press it again in the middle and then press H and then any other name for example I need like Q bar so I would Play out run so that it will look a little different from the out we have. Done. Now I need wires, uh, so I will be going to wire and place it here. Uh, and then again, lock. I need one wire and mode and wire. After this, I need to place inputs. So I will go to place part and place this like from eval, I will sorry from source. I will select the clock and OK and I will place these three these at the three points because uh, you know, I will have to put it a little far away from it because otherwise it will create confusion. Uh, there may be some connectivity issue. So I will again use the wire to connect these that fine. Uh, And I will just change the value of say clock I can change like point three microseconds and here I can change off time of any one of the inputs say this I can make point two microseconds just okay for side to have more inputs. So now this is done. I can minimize this and go to schematic two page where I will be making the diagram. Now here I have to make SR flip flop. I need I need NAND gates. So I will go to uh, eval and select seven four seven four zero zero NAND gate. Okay. And I need how many NAND gates? I need like uh, one, two, three, and four NAND gates. Okay. So the mode. Now here. Uh, see, I have to give uh, this input actually. I have to take it a little lower because this will be the input of other NAND gate R, and this will be the input of the first NAND gate. Okay, and these this output will be the output of first of these. So I will have to remove this wire actually. This wire. I will make. I will use new wires. Before starting uh, with the uh, wire, wire connections, I will just take out because I, I need out from here. So P, I'll be using uh, put L, ha, it would be fine, I think. Okay, and I will be placing it like this. And I will rename it because I need it as out one. Out one. Okay, so. And I need one input as well for clock, so I will be using R like this, right side, 
and I will place it here and I will rename it as clock because I use the name clock over there. So I will be renaming it as clock and press OK. Okay, fine. Now I can use wires and do all the connections I need. First of all, the input would be connected with the first gate and then, oh, um, and then this will be connected like this. Actually, this clock has to be connected, short, shorted actually between the two inputs. So, so now uh, this input will be directly connected with two of the inputs and uh, this clock which I have shorted, I have to okay. Once this is done, uh, I will connect one of the inputs with the input of like NAND gate like this. And this I will be connecting with the NAND gate input. Now here I will be connecting it with OUT and this I will be connecting one. Now I need feedback, so I will be connecting this, taking this like this, press it once, like this, and connect. Okay. Similarly, I need one connection from the side also. Okay, so I will be doing it like this. Pressing it once, taking it again, not stopping here. Okay, stopping at two. So it's done. Now I can end by it. So now, according to me, the circuit is complete. So now I can go back to my uh, circuit, uh, the theoretical block, and do the simulation part, piece by new simulation profile, any name I want to give, create. And I will get these the window where I can change it to 10 microseconds. Okay. So I will do microseconds. Okay. Now it's done. Now I can place the probes or the voltage markers at both input and output side to see the outputs and inputs simultaneously. End mode. And finally, I will run this. When I run, I see the output. Okay. So this is the output. Now when you see the output, you can see that uh, the clock is changing. Whenever the clock is changing from 0 to 1, if your input is like 0, 1, you should get out as 0 if we are getting and out 1 as 1. Opposite of that. And whenever again the clock is changing and for example your output is 0, 0, you will get the previous output only. Here we are getting 1 again and Q are accordingly. So this is working absolutely fine. Okay. Thank you so much for listening and please uh, uh, keep subscribing and liking. Thank you so much.